Welcome to our channel. We bring you breaking news on people, politics, and entertainment constantly. Remember to subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification bell so that you will never miss anything again. Please stay till the end of the video so you can receive our analysis. Now, let's get the news in detail. Breaking news. IPOB bans open grazing of cows in southeast Nigeria and releases enforcement date. IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, has announced that it will commence the enforcement of a ban on open grazing in the southeast region from April 27, 2022. This was made known in a statement issued on Monday by the Successionist Group's spokesman, Emma Powerful. He explained that from that date, those who are into cow business in the southeast must have a ranch and properly mark their cows. IPOB also noted that ranches must be properly marked with an identifiable name or symbol to avoid sanctions. According to the group, while the measures are not targeted against any tribe, they are geared towards stopping the killings in Igbo land by killer his men. The statement continued, We, the Global Movement and Family of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazin Namdekanu, wish to make the following clarification concerning the ban on the movement of Fulani cows, which will take effect from the April 27, 2022. From April 27, 2022, we shall commence the enforcement of the ban on open grazing, which has since been pronounced by the Southeast governors and passed into law by many states in Biafra land. But the Nigerian security agencies have failed to enforce them. Thus, from the said date, no cow should be seen roaming in the streets of Biafra land. From April 27, 2022, the statement continued, Anybody interested in cow business anywhere in Biafra land must have a ranch and properly mark their cows. Cows seen outside ranches with effects from this date shall be treated as contraband products. Owners of such cows should blame themselves. Owners of cows and ranches should properly mark them with their ranch name or symbol for easy identification. The above measures have become necessary to stop the senseless and wanton killings in our land by Fulani jihadists masquerading as his men. We want to stop the incessant invasion of our communities and raping of our mothers and sisters by Flanny has men. Enough is enough. Our action is not targeted against any tribe. We are only making this taking these measures as a necessary as a necessity for self preservation. Igbo people alone in Biafra land they spend more than three trillion naira every year on cows. We therefore want to stop using our money to finance the genocidal attacks on our people by Flanny Hesmen. Let them keep their cows so that we may have our lives. We want our people to breed native cows on our land and also put them in a ranch. We won't tolerate the wandering of cattle again in our land. The IPOB group in October 2021 banned the rearing and consumption of cows in the southeast region. The group, however, said the ban would take complete effect in six months' time. He added that only local breed will henceforth be consumed and used for all ceremonies in Biafra land. According to the statement, from that date, no more Fulani cows shall be allowed into Biafra land for any reason, not for burials, title taking, weddings, etc. He said the ban followed constant attacks 
on their people by suspected Flanny Hesmen, resulting in killing, raping of their women, and other forms of assaults. This came months after the 17 southern governors, led by Governor Rutimi Akerudolu of Undo State, met in Lagos on July 5, 2021, and set a timeline for the promulgation of the anti open grazing law in all member states. Right. This is the statement from um, IPOB. It will be given to them, actually, that they announced this measure six months ago. And um, who knows whether people took them serious or not. But finally, that six months um, enforcement debt is now in the month of April. And they are coming up to say they have to do what they said. Well, it raises some few questions, though. The issue is, um, are there enough local cows to compensate for the flanny cows that will, will be stopped uh, from coming into Biafra land that will be used for the occasions? The amount mentioned here is quite a huge amount of money, three trillion. I wonder if there is enough local cows to, I mean, uh, to, to be used instead of uh, flanny cows. That is one question that is begging for answers. And again, the South East government, I don't know if they are making any effort in this regard to raise a local, local breed of cows, so-called uh, Igbo cow, Ifibo. That is also another issue. Then again, who knows? What is how is the Mietiala? Mietiala, the Magban, how are they going to react to this um, enforcement date that has been uh, confirmed by IP, the IPOB? What will be the reaction of the Mietiala? How will this be enforced? There's also another issue. Though in the report they mentioned something like the ESN, the Eastern Security Network should henceforth um, implement this policy and take over the work of having it implemented because they said the Nigerian security forces have looked the other way and never minded uh, what the Southern governors agreed to do. So the enforcement is also not very clear, but we'll see how it goes. Well, the IPOB is living up to expectation, following up on their policy announcements, and the question, final question today is, is this the right measure? Is it more powerful right? Is the IPOB right? Is this the best way to go about it? We would be very happy to see your comments on this. Just give your opinion and then the discussion will uh, continue. If you enjoyed uh, this content, please subscribe if you haven't done that already and hit the bell notification, the notification bell so you won't miss out um, on our new videos. We have about five of them coming in succession because there's so much to offer to you. Help us to reach 5,000 subscribers in the next one month. Once again, thank you so much and be sure to leave a comment down below. Goodbye.